so excited about this one. You know why I'm so excited? Because it includes my closet. Let's first gonna move this out of my way. Okay. Uh, it's like driving a car. Oh, oh yeah. you the before of all of the closets and you'll see why desperately we all need a closet makeover. Here we go. Okay guys, this is why my closet needs a makeover. First of all, the lighting in here is horrible, but as you know, we travel a lot. I'm not very good at getting my stuff unpacked. Seems like I always need a vacation for my vacation to be honest, and so I need to figure out a better system for that, but yeah, this is bad. This box is like, was full of clothes from just casts. Kids have gone through it, whatever. We've got hats up there, all my shirts, and you know, probably like, I don't know, 25% of these I don't wear, so I probably need to go through with a fine tooth comb like I did the kids's and just get rid of things or give things away that I no longer am wearing very often, let someone else get good use out of them. Benji's section's pretty good, except for we need like another section to hold dirty clothes because he puts them up there. I don't know people, I don't know. This right here, I don't even know what's happening here. This was like boxes. This is where I tried. So I have a mirror, which is nice. Like I'm grateful for the mirror. It's broke because Ledger I think was pushing on it and thought that was really fun and it broke. And then I have this hutch in here, which I love this hutch. And you wanna know why I love this hutch? June 9th, it says right there. This is a hutch that reminds me of my cute grandma who I absolutely love. I've talked about her before. I've talked about her perfume and some of the memories I have with her, but this is all stuff that reminds me of her. She gave me these bells right here and this little Avon statue right here. This was her birthday, June 9th, right here. Some of my special things is, uh, you know, the temple, we got married. Anyway. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know if it belongs in my closet. The reason I have it right here is because it kind of ushers me in to the part of my closet that you guys are probably most familiar with, which is my like sitting, praying, pondering, um, planning area. This area is a lot better as far as lighting goes. So I love this area in here. I love to sit here and I can look out over my yard and my kids playing and sometimes my kids will come in here on Sundays and sit and talk with me and we plan together and here is my, I guess most people call it like a vision board. I have like a vision wall or an inspiration wall. It gives me inspiration for different facets of my life. And I love it. Um, as you see, I have like my kids' names here and there. And there's a reason behind it, like they're close to my heart, the reason behind it, but um, the sayings around the name or some of the pictures around the name help me to remember um, what I love about that child and kind of my vision for parenting that child. I'm sure all of you parents out there, you know, like it kind of takes a different version of yourself for every child. Some kids need you to be nothing but a cheerleader and others need you to kind of like logistics and all about being organized and others just need to be snuggled more often. Anyway, it reminds me of all of their little personalities and what I need to do to be their best mom. And so I've got those here. These remind me of my marriage here. It's my wall. I love it. And this is where I usually sit to pray in the morning and to like ponder about life and make some big decisions. And then right here I have all of my long hanging stuff, which just doesn't really make sense. Just this whole closet doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know, when I was designing this house, I think I got tired by the time I got to my closet that I was just like, let's just do it. So, I didn't really think through it very well. This is my kind of um, memory area. and This is so funny, it's so indicative of my life. Like, we got OxyClean like carpet cleaner up there and some smelly, <laughs> mixed with all my cute stuff. But guys, if my life was perfect, I don't know, 
I don't think any of you would know even who I was. I think what makes it so fun to watch people's lives is to see the imperfect, right? And so I love that I show you guys my imperfect and that's okay and you love me anyway and I love that. So there's lots of love going around this room. Anyway, this is my kind of special room here. That's my picture when I was little that baby. So cute. Okay, so moving on. With this closet, I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna show you now Ledger's closet and just laid him down for a nap. So I'm gonna kind of be quiet, but he needs some help too. If you watch Ledger Controls My Day, you will see that, that closet just doesn't look good. Let me sneak in here real fast. Here's the situation here. Wipes, stuffed with winter clothes he can't even wear right now. It's just a mess, a mess, people. We've got a lot of food to do here. All right, and the closet a lot of you have been waiting for is navy. Let's go check this out. So as you saw in there, it's just a bomb. There's just toys mixed with mementos, mixed with winter clothes that he can't even wear right now, and yeah, it's just a bomb. All right, so let's go check out Navy's, and then we will get busy. All right, guys, I am in Navy's room. Looks like she's doing some organizing here. We are ready to show you her closet. Are you ready? Yes, it's really bad. Oh, whatever, it is not really bad. My closet's really bad. Okay, there you go. This is the situation we got here. What do you got up there, Navy? I just have backpacks and Memories. Memories, fun, costumes. And your shirts go here. You got your chair uniform there, pants there. Is this your laundry? Yes, it's my laundry, yes. Okay. Garbage can. Garbage. Uh, you got your shoes, shoes in here. Clothes. And what's this, like drawers for like underwear and stuff like that? Yeah. And then like workout clothes or what's in these? Um, Workout clothes, pajamas, which are workout clothes and pajamas are together. So not a ton of organization. Maybe we could put some cute bins up there. And then what do you want to do with shoes? Are you, do you want to put them in your locker downstairs or do you want to try to figure out so we can figure out some kind of like way that we could have like some little shelves oh, go up and put them there it's kind of dark I wish that there was a way that we could like light it up there's not a light in here so. all right so this is the current situation people so what we're gonna do first step number one we are going to go through each of these closets junk the things that we no longer wear just call it good yes. stop trying to make room for them and then we can do some strategic purchasing lists so lists of like oh I need a white undershirt or oh I don't have any black shorts so that's the process so let's get going. Okay, I'm first gonna move this out of my way. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, let's drive in a car. Oh, oh dear. Okay. I know I'm keeping everything in there because I just barely wore it last week. <sighs> this is literally new, but every time I go to wear it, I don't wear it. Have shirts like that, like you bought it and you're like had it for like a year and you've never worn it. Yeah, I just need to let it go. Oh dear, I have a lot more work ahead of me. Maybe I'll just let you guys see the finished product when this is all done because this is gonna take me like days. You guys probably have stuff to do, people to see, places to go rather than watch. 45 minutes of me cleaning out my closet, but stay tuned for shopping and the finished product. All right, guys, here we go. All right. <laughs> First of all, any baby hangers? You're not a baby anymore. What do you think about this? No. Does it bring you joy? Away. Yeah, don't like it? No. Okay. By the way, um, as we all do with all of our hand-me-downs, I am going to let all of the younger siblings look through these. If there's anything they want to keep that's in good condition, we always pass it down. Alright, definitely Paisley is going to be in heaven with these hand-me-downs. Get away. I've had that forever and I have you. Oh my goodness. A lot of these things she has had for like four or five years, so. Mm, 
Dark Shark of White. It's pretty cute. Oh. And if I want it, you can always go <laughs> borrow it from Paisley's <laughs> closet. All right, what about this? Get away. <sighs> She's gonna have no clothes left. This is an emergency, people. I have, I, I don't know if I like this or not. This looks like I bought it for back to school. And you've never worn it. No. You never could bring yourself to wear it? I, I don't know. It's not oh, really my it's favorite. It's so cute for back to school. Comment down below if she should have kept <laughs> no. the yellow and navy blue striped shirt. I won't be brave enough to wear it. Okay, strategic purchasing is happening with you, Navy. Only if you will absolutely wear it are you buying it. All right, so uh, I have to keep this. Is that this like is a wedding a, dress? This is the keepsake from when we went through the temple oh. for oh. Kennedy's wedding. Yeah. Oh, sorry, when we went to the temple for Kennedy's wedding. It was her bridesmaid dress. Yes. So this is kind of like a keepsake, right? I don't know why I have these, but I wore this for Halloween because I have a cowgirl, and I actually made this myself. I think so. she did a great job. Look at that, you guys. She made that with a marker. Yes. Those are some good cow spots made with marker. from Hawaii. So Mike, when we take this out, it's gonna have a lot of All stuff. right, we passed down swimming suits a lot, and so people have a lot of swimming suits. Whoa! Oh my gosh, there is so much. I just no, there is in my swimsuit. Hey guys, we are here at the mall shopping for Navy and I guess a little bit my closet too and Mr. Ledger's. So here we go. Do you like them? Yes. Turn around, let's see the back. Oh, they're so cute. Cute. Good choice.
Okay, guys, we have done a ton of shopping today. Probably too much. Don't tell Benji. But we are gonna go home and get our closets put together. Are you so excited? Yes. I'm excited too. from me from high school. So much fun. Oh, buddy. And the hairstyles back then. Aw, this a little girl. Oh, getting ready for my first dance. Look at that hair, people. And whoa, I definitely was tan. And back then they didn't have spray tans, to be honest. So I definitely was out in the sun way too much. And cute cheerleader. Anyway. Okay, I'm done going down memory lane. Back to cleaning my closet, people. girl could ask for two hands to pray and a voice to sing two hands to pray and a voice to sing heartbreak smells a lot like freedom the best laid plans all go to waste done me wrongs ain't done me nothing done with Ledger's closet. Are you excited to get your new clothes? Yeah, you're in I'm so excited because he's two and two year olds don't really care about new clothes. But mommies love to give their two year olds new clothes. Ah. Are you excited to see your closet? Yeah. It's so clean. And guess what? Yeah. I put all your toys in the bins and I will show you. Are you excited to see it? Okay, ready? Wow, what do you think? Oh. Nice toy. Oh, yes. You got your cards. Oh, and he throws the label. That's how good the label does. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Do you like your new clothes? I like this one. Do you like that one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. How did you get so good at hanging up your clothes? Look. Show us that one. 
Oh, nice. I just got this one for basketball. For basketball? Yeah. Oh, that's a good basketball shirt. So that's for me to get basketball. You're so uh, big. Uh, oh, what? It is for dinosaurs to go out of cage. Really? Yes. One. That's when dinosaurs are gonna go out of their cage? Yeah, that's what they do. Oh, that's great. Um, this one, they is nice and clean. Um, it's is nice it, and clean? Can Ellie put it out? Oh, yeah, is it nice and clean? Yeah. Can you hang it up? Um, no, I cannot. You can, I bet you can. Oh, you did it! Okay, oh, poke, poke it back on there. Oh, wow. Oh, Cute. What do you think about those shoes? They're cool. They're cool? Look at this one. Do you like them? Yeah. No, it's a big color. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know that you're taking this very seriously. <laughs> Hey guys, all right, I am done with my closet. My closet is literally my favorite room in my entire house. And if you are a subscriber, you know why I spend a lot of time in my closet. Just having like that morning time for just me, mom of 16, like I need time to decompress. And this is my place where I come, I pray, I read scriptures, I write in my journal, I reflect, I think, I set goals. This is the place. And so I'm so excited to show you the changes I've made. It's turned out really good. Are you ready? All right, here we go. All right, so this is all my clothes section. I've got a lot of the things that like, you know, just, I don't know, luggage and just bags and things that you don't use all the time up in these high ones. I'm probably gonna label them. I don't know, I stuck the label on. It didn't look the best. I think I need to get different labels than these for those high ones. Anyways, I got all my sweaters up here, accessories, pants, my guns, hats, all my clothes pretty much fit right here. And then here is my hanging section. I have just like went through and totally stripped anything that I haven't worn in the past six months. Like that is key, people. If you haven't worn it for other reasons than like the weather, you probably won't wear it. And so it was hard, but I got rid of like six bags of clothes and gave them to donate. And so I feel good about that. So these are my jackets. These are Benji's suits. Um, my bag, this is his section right here. Um, a lot of this stuff is like travel stuff or games that I like to keep out of little fingers reach. Like tons of stuff up here is totally stacked. All of his shirts, all of his long sleeve shirts, his ties, so organized. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but it is way brighter in here. We did these lights. I know it's hard to catch it in the film, but we've got three lights in here, these chandeliers. I love them. They just added such a cute touch and it's super bright in here and so it makes it a lot more fun to line things up. Got my laundry basket right here and so that will be nice. And this wall, so we did these floating shelves. I put all of my jewelry pieces that I go to often here. Um, this is my grandma's watch and just a lot of memories here as well. And then the smelly goods going on, my belt, my also go-to jewelry is right here. I would so encourage you guys, if you haven't done a vision board, do it. It doesn't have to be this big, but find a space that you can have your vision board and maybe it can be the same space where you can have some quiet time too, like 
honestly, this has been my saving grace, this room. So, okay, moving on. Chair, I got a new chair. I love it. It's a rocking chair, so I can sit and snuggle babies in here if I want to, or just sit and think. I did a drapery over this door. This door is just like a closet, and I just didn't like it behind the chair. So I did these drapes, and I like how that turned out. And then, ta -da! my shelf. Okay, so I took my crowns. You're like, why? Why do you have crowns? Well, one day you'll find out because I'm going to write a story, a book about it. But I got new little wood and marble pedestals to hold them up. And I love how that turned out. And these kind of bamboo baskets. I have my two cute girls that are on missions right here so I can remember them when I'm in here. Uh, still, I rise. I love that saying. That's one of my favorite things. Um, anyway, that's that's that. Love it. My window seat, I did these gold and wood um, glass shelves underneath here. I just, I love when I'm thinking and stuff to kind of like look and I didn't want to see all the clutter anymore and so I took all of the things that, a lot of things are special to my heart and a lot of things are just whatever but I put them in places so now I know like if I want to reflect on how much I love my grandma, I know that this is her cute little wicker box and I have all of these special things but I don't have to have it all out to always have a visual and also keeps it from just getting ruined or dusty or little fingers touching it and so I'm loving how I did that. And then I have this nice window seat again. This is where like kids come. Sometimes I'll sit here. I'm able to see my whole front yard from my window, which is so cool. And so I love to sit here and look. And then this is what I did. So a lot of this stuff is kind of like, I only use it like maybe once or twice a year. And so I put this kind of a, like a garment bag. I put over the top of it just so it wasn't a distraction for me. Like I said, I like to just really get in the zone and read and do other things in here. And it was just like with all the colors and things, it was a distraction to me and I feel like this kind of just kind of muted the colors for me and I only get into it like once a year, so I love it. And then up here I put some of my fun memories, my picture of when I was Mrs. Utah, um, Kennedy and Cassidy's pictures when they were leaving on their mission and my crown. Anyway, I love this room. I'm so excited that I finally did me a closet makeover. I deserve it, right guys? Like, totally deserve it. But anyway, next closet makeover is Navy and she is gonna die. We've got some fun stuff happening in her closet, so let's go to that. All right, guys, we are ready to do the reveal of Navy's closet. Yes. Are you excited? She's been dying and waiting, guys, because it has been a long time. We've been like really a busy. Long time. <laughs> and I've just been like, I can't get any of your new stuff out. Wait, wait, wait. And now, finally today, she's done waiting. So, all right, are you ready? First yes. of all, let's just take note of how cute Navy's room is because she always keeps it so clean. She's such a good girl. All right. Ah, I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm not scared. I bought you a couple things, but you kind of knew what you were getting, and but you kind of didn't know. Like I made her leave, and I made sure. Anyway, some of these are surprises in here, and some of them are things I didn't show you before, but hopefully you'll love it. Ah, okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, no, you don't. I love it. Okay, are you excited to see? Yes. All right, so I got you a few new little tank tops here for summer. So cute. They're so colorful. So fun. This one's from Just Cash Talk. You tried on that one, but. And then, of course, your cute colorful pants. So cute. Your jeans are here. Sorry. All your workout stuff is in here. Dance and cheer stuff is in here. These are all your shorts. Nice so and colorful. Cute. There are a couple new pairs. Like these. Boom. So oh, cute. So cute. Where did I get these from? These guys, we tried these on at Urban Reno, right? Urban Outfitters, yes, so, so cute. Okay, and these green ones, so cute. Aren't they so cute? These are from Zara. Yes. The rip bottom. I put your shoes down there. In that corner right there is your 72 hour kit. If you guys haven't seen that video, jump over to there. We're actually gonna re-up them in a couple months, but that's like for an emergency, just grab it real quick. And then up here, we've got like your school, kind of like your memories, and just like all year, you can kind of put your stuff there and then we can go through at the end of the year and put it in your keepsakes. Here's bags, like your like backpacks and extra bags for packing. And then memories, these are like old cheer uniforms or old dance stuff that you want to put in there for memories. And then your shoe <laughs> These wall. are so cute. <laughs> Do you like these little yes. shelves? So fun to put your stuff. I thought they wanted to get all of your shoes up off of the ground yeah. so you could see them and so cute. And I hear that somebody's gonna buy you another pair of Jordans. I won't say who, but you might wanna check <laughs> out that video and just cast. Anyway, so those are your shoes. And then, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it is lit. 
Yes. Yeah. That makes like that is so cool. Ah, it doesn't make it. It makes it almost feel like more like a walk-in closet versus just like yeah. a, a flat closet. So we have these little lights we poked up here, and they are like uh, motion detectors. So when you open it, they will come on, which is so cool. Got those from Amazon. I'll probably put the link down below. And then all of your dresses right oh, here. This is so cute. Oh, wow, this one's new. I forgot to tell you. This one's new. So cute. That would be so cute for Hawaii. Oh, that's true. Oh my goodness, so fun. Yeah, do you like it? Yes, I, I love it. it. Matches your room now. It's like very aesthetic with all the like, you know, bohemian kind of colors of the baskets and yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Do a little twirl, so cute. All right, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I am obsessed I with those it. pants. Oh, they're so, so cute. cute on you. Look from the side again, oh my gosh. Those are from Zara, guys. So cute. Okay, one last quick change. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love this short. The shorts are so cute and comfortable. Are they? Let's see the yes. back. Bye. Cute. Oh my gosh. Are you in love with your new closet? Yes. I'm in love with your new clothes. Yay! Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching our closet makeovers. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. And follow us on all our social media. Bye. Bye.